Hey guys, Mitch here. Today I'll be showing you how to respring your iPhone or any iDevice with no jailbreak required. Now this process will be using the new stand glitch which we have covered in a previous video. I will link you guys somewhere in the annotation or down below in the description and compliments of Jeff for finding this out. So first off, make sure you go to your third springboard page and have four applications that you rarely use two of them more rare than the other ones and you want to go ahead and create two folders you can name them whatever you want like so so once you have those two folders on the third springboard page you want to go ahead and move one of the folders over to the second springboard page so we have one folder on the second page and then one folder on the third page so this will be using the newsstand um, glitch that we did so go ahead and press on the home button tap and hold on the folder and then it will direct you over to the home screen and then you can quickly swipe back over to the second page so go ahead and tap on the home hold swipe over really fast I messed up there go ahead and do it again tap hold swipe over fast you will get it when the icons go into that jiggle mode where you can go ahead and rearrange them and then you want to go ahead and click on that folder that you created and then press the home button and that folder that was on the third um, page will go directly into the uh, new folder here now this process causes the springboard to crash when you have a folder inside of a folder so if I go ahead and actually try to open up that folder you will realize it will go to the Apple screen as the springboard will crash allowing you to respring your device so if you would like you can go ahead and move out those other applications that you aren't using and then you can go ahead and rename this uh, this new folder if you would like to like respring so just an easy way to remember where your respring is now bear in mind you won't be able to actually um, open up those applications that are in that folder so make sure that those are the apps that you rarely use on your iOS device. Now if you would like to get rid of that respring ability here and actually access the apps all you do is go ahead and open it up and then tap and hold and then you can just drag it right out back onto your springboard and you have the ability to open up those apps like normally with the functionality that you would have on your iOS device. So guys this is how you create a respring uh, button or app using the new stand glitch. If you guys do like these videos, don't forget to hit that like button and be sure to subscribe.